just do. We're at my brother-in-law's house. We're having a barbecue today. Oh my God. Hello. Today is Alina's first appointment with her English doctor who's the doctor that will actually deliver the baby. So we're on our way now to the doctor's appointment. Everything went well at the doctor's. It was lovely to meet Alina's doctor finally. She's a lovely woman. Alina seems to get like her a lot. Um, now we've just got to do some tests. We have to do a scan and we have to do a blood test. So we're going to go and do that now. <laughs> Thank you. 
I sit here? Oh, even better. She's got my nose. So red is like Venus. Like um, not quite. It's about to have to flow. Okay. So it's about towards me. Uh, and then away from me. This is cool. So it's slightly, it's slightly, it's basically what you're looking for. Mm. What I'm actually doing is looking for a mixing of the colours. Okay. Across. To suggest across, the whole. Yeah. Got it. That was an excellent ultrasound. Again, I have been reminded that I should have really listened to my father when he said that you should be a doctor. But the problem was, you know, when I was in university, they told me you should be a doctor. You should um, work really hard in university, study, pass all your exams, and then, you know, you should help sick people. Well, I, I, I wasn't into that at the time. However, if they had told me you should become a doctor because you get to play with your toys, expensive toys like ultrasound machines. And then after playing with those toys, you just get to bill people 350 pounds. Cha-ching, cash on the spot. I would have become a doctor. Ultrasound was great. The doctor said, our little baby is perfect. So, all the worrying, it's over. Oh, so you was worried? Of course I was worried. After that, <laughs> he said, I was worried. I really didn't feel that way. Yeah, I know the reason. However, I didn't really enjoy his bedside manner. But Dr. Yinka, I mean, we paid for Dr. Yinka, was awesome. Dr. Yinka, you're awesome. Now we're off to get a blood test. I think this is the, I'm just curious. I wish I brought the Vaseline. We're here getting Alina's blood tested. I'm extremely curious how much this blood test is going to cost. But don't worry, I've got the Vaseline. So far, it's been an awesome day. Ching ching! I'm so glad I don't have to have my blood tested. I'm, I hate blood tests. I feel bad for Alina though. And the truth is, I've been pretty hard on her recently. I, I realized that in the beginning, I've, I spoiled her a lot. You know, I'm the kind of person that likes to do everything. And so I did everything for her. And now I realize that we're about to be parents and I kind of need her to be more self-sufficient and less needy of me. Did it hurt? You kidding me? No. Didn't it? hurt? No, of course not. It's not too far, it's just on the other side of Regent's Park. So Alina, how's your day been? My day been <laughs> That was 140 pounds for that blood test. <laughs> Whoa. We get paid. Your money moves to and fro, but you have choices, don't you know? We've all got to 
Now, this is my friend Nader. We used to call him Beirut. His nickname is Beirut. So, it doesn't stop. It's a good thing. You look back, you'll appreciate it, I think. We've come to my friend Nader's office. This is his office. I thought I had a problem with supplements. It, I see, I see. Whatever I've been telling you has really rubbed off on you, Nader. You've become a supplement freak. That hemp oil is good, huh? Look at these Ron English toys that he's got. Yeah, That's a kid robot. I have more here as well, but they're not all out. Not, I mean, that's majority out. Amazing. 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 I have more at the house, though. 